Hello everyone, this is Vikram and welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll talk about Python input function and why this is used. We'll also see how to read user input using this Python input function. We'll also talk about converting the data from one data type to the other data type and also we'll do some basic comparison in this demo. So these are the various topics that are covered in this video. So we'll talk about input function to read user data and also we'll talk about converting the data from one data type to the other data type because python input function always returns one data type but that data type may not be useful in your program so we'll talk about converting that data type into any other data type that can be used in your program so what is this input function so for a program to be useful it usually needs to communicate with the outside world by obtaining the data either from the user or it can also obtain the data from the files, databases or any other external tools. So once we receive this data, so we can process this data and give the data back to the user using the print functions. Let's say that you have created a Python program that needs access to the external configuration files. Let's say that you need to connect to some external database. For that database, you need certain configurations. So either you can hard code those configurations within your Python program or you can create a separate configuration file and have your Python program read that configuration file. As you see, the Python program can accept the external data as the input either through the keyboard that is usually given by the user or from an external databases or files so once you have the input so you can process it and the output can be displayed directly to the console or you can also store that output to a file for further reference in python 3.x that is the in the 3 version the built-in function called input takes the user input from the keyboard but in python 2.x that is python version 2 you must use raw underscore input method to read the user input in python so when we call an input function, our program will pause. That means until unless the user inputs something from the keyboard, your program will be completely halted. So once you enter something in the keyboard and then you press enter, so the program will go to the next instruction in your Python program. So this is the syntax of your input function. So we'll have a keyword called input and we have brackets. So inside the brackets, you can have any text. So that will be prompted in the console. So we'll talk more about it in the demo. So once you have the input uh, given through the keyboard, you can store it in some variable for further reference. Or else if you don't want to give any prompt, you can simply leave it like this. So within the brackets, you can uh, put absolutely nothing. And then also you can use the input function to read some data. But if you want to show some uh feedback to the user like you wanted to sh uh, show some prompt to the user so that prompt can be used like this that prompt can be a string within the double quotes so once you execute your python program with input function like this so python is going to print whatever you put inside these brackets so like enter h so once you uh execute your program so it will print enter h colon because colon is also there then it will ask you to enter something so until and unless you enter something and press enter your program is going to get stopped in python the input function always returns a string so what is the meaning of this so let's assume that this python input function is being used to enter age of a student or someone and let's say that in the console you have entered 18 so even though 18 is like an integer the 18 will be stored or returned by the input function as a string so always the input function returns a string no matter whatever is the data type that you enter in the console so this user is which is currently uh, holding the input data so this user is if i enter as 18 so 18 will be stored as a string and not as an integer so let's say that user is when you're trying to compare with other uh, let's say greater than 17 so user is greater than 17 so this throws an error because the user is is being returned as a string and string you are comparing it with 17 which is an integer so this is absolutely not possible it is as good as you are comparing 18 which is a string with an integer so this is not possible so you can also confirm the data type of uh, your input so using type function so inside this type you are going to pass the variable name and this is going to return the type of the variable so in all the cases it is going to return as a string class and now 
uh, string is not useful for me because I wanted to do some comparison whether this user is is, is greater than 18 or, or or if he is less than 17 or something then I need to convert this string to an integer so I'll be using typecasting where I convert from one data type to the other data type this user is I am just converting into the integer and again I am storing under the same variable so if you want you can also store it in some other variable name but I am I'm also using this I am using the same variable name to store the value again so this time 18 being a string in the first case so now after typecasting it becomes 18 integer so now if condition so even though we have not discussed uh, if I am just going to show you uh, we'll uh, learn extensively about this if else in the coming sessions so if user is is greater than 18 so now this comparison will work because i have alway, already typecasted it to integer so if 18 greater than 18 then uh, this will be printed eligible to vote otherwise so it will go to the else it will say that not eligible to vote you are eligible after so these many years because officially after 18 uh, once you attend uh, attain 18 then only you are eligible to vote so it is going to show the difference like how many years you should wait further to become eligible to vote so let's see the demo so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new file under this folder called input.py so now what is the syntax of input so the syntax of input is input so basically this is an input function and then whatever you give it in the input it will be it has to be stored on the left side so let's say that uh, i'm just storing it as my age okay so before saving it into the my age let's see if i remove it and try to execute what will happen so i can just run it by clicking on run python file and here nothing has happened because we actually read the input but we are not uh, entering anything in the console so the python program is currently halted so if i type something and then press enter so the pro program is going to get executed so here i have not uh, printed anything at all so that's why the program is not doing anything so let's see how to store the input value back to a variable so my age is equal to input so here what i'm doing so whatever is the input that is coming i'm storing it in the my age and then let's use simple print statement my age is colon so we'll talk more about print statements in the next video and then my age so i'm just going to print my age and then try to run this file again so now python is uh see here it is not showing anything here so it is not showing what to enter so even though i have input function that is expecting an age so it is not known to the user so even if i enter 12 so it is going to print my is is 12 because of this uh, print function so what if i give some prompt to the user that what exactly is entering like enter your age so this is the prompt so if i uh, save this file and click on run python file so now python is going to show this prompt so now i'll understand that i have to enter the age so i'm just entering age 18 so a, my age is 18 which is basically the next print statement so now i wanted to know what is this type uh, type of this my age variable so you can uh, use separate print function or you can use the same print function to use so i'm just using type and in the bracket i'm just going to use the variable name which is my age so now if i try to run this file again so it is going to ask the my age so i'm just inputting 17 so it is saying class string so even though i entered 17 which basically looks like an integer so it is a string so i cannot use string for the comparison so let's uh basically prove it so i'm just saying if my age is greater than 18 and i should put colon in case of if conditions so again we are, we are going to see extensively in the future videos i'm just saying eligible to vote in the if condition so this is a uh, simple if so if he is if my age is greater than 18 else so if his age is not greater than 18 
so i'm just saying print not eligible so basically even if the age is greater and greater and equal to 18 also he is eligible to vote so i'm just putting greater than or equal to and then i am going to run the python file again so i'm just putting 15 sorry i'll run the uh i have to enter it here so 15 so now see here this is the error so what it is saying greater than or equal to 18 so greater than or equal to is not supported between instances of string and integer so what is this instances of integer and uh, string and integer because this is a string and this is an integer so you are trying to compare between in string and integer which is not possible that means i have to convert my age from string to integer so what is the uh, function so it is an integer function so integer function expects any value inside it so my age is a string i'm type casting it to integer so let's write the comments as well so this is called type casting to int and then after type casting so where exactly you have to store so you can either store back to the same variable so like this or else you can also see my age in int so which is basically it doesn't make any sense if i say my a is in it because obviously a's will be in integer just for time being i'm just using another file name or else you can use the same uh sorry another variable name you can also use the same variable name as the string variable name so now i have typecasted so if you want you can also use the same print function to see the difference so this time so earlier it was printing the str as the class so here it should print integer as the class so let's just verify it by running this python file again so i'm going to enter a is again 17 so earlier 17 is a string class now 17 is an integer class so this time it is not throwing an error because my age is itself integer now so if 17 is greater than or equal to 18 so it is basically not so that's why it is going to else and it is printing not eligible to vote so here i can also say like uh, not eligible to vote so you are eligible to vote after how many years so after how many years uh, will be so comma so 18 minus my age so if my age is 17 so he is eligible to vote after 18 minus 17 one year so i can also put some more string here yes so let's try to run this code again so i can just run it from the gui i'm just entering 15 here so it is saying you not eligible to vote you are eligible to vote after three years so after three years so he'll be eligible to vote so now if you want you can just comment uh comment out these print statements because these uh these are not needed so let's just comment out like this and now it becomes easier and much more clear so if i so let's clear this so there are many ways so we already know so i can also invoke this python program using python input.py so this is also possible so but i have to be in that folder so what is that folder it is 0 to integer so now it is python input.py so enter your is so age is 19 so it is saying eligible to vote so again if you want to run the program uh again run so 10 not eligible to vote you are eligible to vote after eight eight years so this is how you use input function so as i said input function always returns in string so you have to convert that string into your required uh, data type so here i have used integer so if you want you can convert into float to process my yes or any other uh, thing in the float so what if i use other uh, variables as well like so interest percentage so interest percentage is equal to input function enter interest rate so i can just use some space as well 
so here i have to convert that my int, uh, sorry interest percentage to if i say that if i uh, have to convert into float so i can use into float so here float interest percentage so the interest percentage which is basically returning as a string it will be now converted into a float so now i can use uh, other if condition so if interest percentage is greater than <clears throat> 10 so i can say like print too high now i'll use one more range else in else in python it is elif so if you want if else ladder it is elif now if interest percentage if it is greater than 5 or greater than equal to 5 and let's say if interest percentage less than or equal to less than 8 so here i'm just saying greater than 8 then it is too high in between 5 and less than 8 or less than or equal to 8 because it is greater than 8 that means 9 and 10 so here less than or equal to 8 that means including 8 so print acceptable else interest percentage is looking okay for me if it is anything less than 4 so now if i run this python file so first is asking for a's i'm just entering 18 interest percentage i'll just say 3.45 then it is saying interest percentage is okay so now if i try to enter some other interest percentage so a's we already seen so i'm just giving the random number enter is enter interest rate so i'm just saying it is 12 so that means it is too high so this is about the python input function in the next video we will talk more about print statements so there are a lot of print statements and their formats so we'll talk in the next video thank you